Hi, I'm Sarah, the Peer Project Support Worker for Recovery College Calderdale. So in this week's vlog, um, I'm just going to talk to you about how I've been getting on over the last couple of weeks. So um, a lot of my vlogs recently, I've spoken about how um, I've been struggling with my motivation. So it's been a bit up and down and um, I've struggled to, to get it back since being on annual leave. So. Um, I seem to be getting somewhere with motivation and getting back to it and then I just sort of lost it again so really struggling and just like the thought of, of getting back to my online class which is quite a, a fast paced one um, I just couldn't face it so um, I sat down and thought well you know why am I exercising in the first place um, you know to enjoy it because it makes me feel good um, but, you know, if, if I'm really feeling I'm having to push myself, you know, is that really why I'm doing it? So I um, thought about what else I could do um, and um, I've decided to do a bit of yoga. So yoga is something I've wanted to do for a while. Um, right at the beginning of lockdown, um, I actually signed up to an online course, a yoga course, and it was right from beginner too advanced. Um, unfortunately, um, I accidentally started on the wrong module. So I started on the last one, the advanced module. All I can probably describe how that went was I got myself into a bit of a tangle. Um, not great. Um, I was worried that I might break, break my leg. Um, so um, put me off a little bit um, and in general with my shoulder injury anytime I'm trying a new exercise I do sometimes get a bit of anxiety I think you know how's my shoulder gonna be um, you know am I gonna be able to do it so what I've done is I've signed up to a really really basic foundation yoga course online and I'm starting at the right point so I'm starting right at the foundation and I'm really really enjoying it it's um, different to the sort of the my usual fast pace sweating heart rate um workout but i'm noticing benefit um i'm sort of feeling it a little bit the next day which is good um not too much but you know i, I know i've done something i'm feeling really relaxed as well it's it's quite nice to get that slow pace and that sort of balance and I know that they talk a lot about yoga and balancing your body and balancing your mind um, and I've, I've really noticed that you know I'm focusing on the, the breathing like they teach me how to do that and I'm, it's really starting to flow a little bit and I am feeling really quite calm after doing it and just quite refreshed um, probably the best way to describe it refreshed and energized as well so really good good stuff um and i'm getting my routine back so that that's been a big thing just getting me back in that routine so um i'm getting my um at the end of the day end of the working day um i'm doing my my yoga and that's sort of breaking up from sort of the end of the day to the evening to the end of the working day and the start of like my relaxing time so it's quite good to have that distinction between work and home um, the one thing I have noticed though is um, in doing the yoga um, my body's a bit weak weaker than I thought it would be weaker than I expected my, my car so like my foundation which was a shock because I have been active I've been you know keeping active um, but at the same time with working from home being at home more I'm typically not moving around as much as I would do normally per day and just you know the little things like walking down to the shop or walking to and from the car or just just walking around town and things like that I'm not I'm not doing so I think it's been a bit of a loss of of strength there which you know I probably need a bit of yoga at the moment to build it back up again um and that straight I've noticed as well recently I'm just getting a bit bit stiffer with with working from home and being on the computer a bit more so it's really nice to have that stretch and that sort of tension release so if anyone is thinking about um getting started with doing some exercises um i'd probably say start with something like yoga i mean check the level and you know if you have got a, a an injury or an illness or anything i'd double check with a health professional to make sure you can do it but it's a really, really good place to start. It's gentle. It's, 
you know, you don't feel like, oh, I'm just, I'm just a bit tired, I don't feel like doing it, you know, it really wakes you up, it really revives you, so that's sort of my little, my little bit of uh, vlog today is, uh, why not give it a go? Um, and I just think, you know, doing something is better than nothing. Um, just double check that it definitely is the right level for you and enjoy it. Just try and get something out of it and enjoy it. Um, just a bit of a reminder that if you live in Calderdale, I have got my active surgery running at the moment. So if you'd like a bit of support, um, a bit of one-to-one, -one, um, someone to chat with, someone to talk through exercises and things like that, then get in touch. Um, I will put the email address in the description for this vlog. So I will hopefully speak to you all soon. Thank you. Bye.